Good morning, everyone. Uh, today is a continuation. Today's episode is a continuation of a previous ep episode. Uh, we are going to meet S. G. and we are going to talk about his friend uh, whom he lost well, uh, shortly. Good morning, S. G. Good morning, Ahmed. Uh, S. G. Today we want to talk about what are the stories that you would like to share about that would demonstrate how Eugen Beckett was as a person. What was he like? In my first talk to you, we talked about you know how I met him and yeah. uh, what sort of person he was. And I said he was my mentor and he was a friend. Once, you know, this is early days of our uh, meeting. Uh, a year has passed and he's based in Singapore. And I got a call from him. I was in Lahore and he said, Salim, I know you have a brother in uh, USA. Uh, I need a barbecue for my garden, a uh, portable barbecue. Is it possible for you to ask your brother to arrange one uh, for me uh, to be sent to Singapore? I said, no problem. So I called my brother Najib and he sent me some brochures and I exchanged the brochures with Oegan and he liked one barbecue. It was cost at about $300 and uh, he said, yeah, it's a good price. So let's get it. So uh, I asked Najib, Najib arranged it, and I forgot. After a few months, six, seven months, I just when we were talking on the phone, I said, oh, by the way, did you receive your uh, barbecue? Oh, yeah, yeah, I got my barbecue. Selling barbecue is very nice, but they also send the cylinder with the barbecue. Now, because of the cylinder, the fare got very high. So instead of paying $300, it became $600. Right. So uh, in my head, I said, don't worry, uh, you know, because I'm paying, why are you worried? So I said, okay, don't worry again, you know, that's fine. Right. Because I, I, for you me, don't have to pay for it. already so. pay for it, you know, the Jeep has paid for it. So I said, oh, that's fine. Again, time passed. And um, so he has to come to Pakistan, his first ever visit to Pakistan. No. And this was in what year? 1997. 97. Okay. And Oigan back at coming to Pakistan with two of Chinese colleagues right. from Taiwan. Right. First ever visit to Net Seoul by a multinational Mercedes Benz CIO is coming to Lahore. So I have to do a lot of preparation. That's a separate story. We'll talk about that. Right. So all done, he came, he arrived, all my arrangement worked well. Our meeting went very, very well. And we signed our first software development contract first. Before that, we were servicing. Right. Okay. So, okay. this was the beginning of NetSoul software development. The break we call. This is the break I was ex waiting for. So, we signed a very nice contract, and after signing contract, he said, Sir, I want to talk to you. So, he took me aside. Mm -hmm. He opened his wallet and took out $600, $100 bills, six of them, crisp, brand new $100 bills. And I was just watching. I said, I don't know what he's doing. I have no idea what he's doing because I forgot all about the past. Oh, he says, by the way, thank you for the barbecue. I cannot enjoy it until I pay for it. He paid me. I could not say no at all because that would be, uh, you know, for him. That was very embarrassing. Uh, okay, yeah. Why I'm refusing? He doesn't want uh, something for me. I took the money, looked at him and I said, oh, my God, I wish we could learn from this guy. Yeah. This integrity is integrity. the key for what I learned from a great man. He was a great man. And over 20 years of friendship, gifts were exchanged, but not any favors were exchanged. He will bring gifts for me, I'll bring gifts for him. That's normal. But yes, that's why he was a great man. I mean, he will not enjoy his barbecue until he pays for it. Great man. Yes. Thank you so much uh, for it. We'll continue these videos and we'll talk about more uh, about Eugen Beckett.